Are we back? I think we're back. Yeah, it, it died for a second. I think the stream just died though, hold on. Yeah, it did die for a second. Kind of a weird spot. But not the most cru crucial. Uh... Let's see. I hope it doesn't happen again. Because normally when stuff like this happens, I, uh, if it happens too much, I just cut stream. But if it's just the one time, it's not that bad. When you here, you have the Gemini. And neither of you are close to level. You need healing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Ryan go over here. We're going to trade over Gemini. I'm going to heal Marth. We're also going to trade the Taurus over for the hammer at the moment. Oh, yeah, that is right. That is right. I'm gonna stack. I want that strength boost. And just do you mind doing like one other thing of research for me? Magic, offensive magic. Is it still based on strength? I have a feeling it still is. Because I noticed Yubel's attack, uh, magic attack went up when his strength did. I think strength is still used in magic attack. Do you mind looking that up for me? Let's go ahead and equip. Uh, or I can't do it. Let's use Nosferatu to at least get some health. Oh yeah, the stream just recently crashed. That did happen. Again, if it crashes soon again, we might just call it. I usually don't like to continue if it just constantly crashes. But if it's just the one, we'll live with it. for physical and magical. I had a feeling. I thought it was weird. So there is a way to boost magic. It's just that the reason why Lind and Merrick back in FE1 weren't really getting that much damage off is that they were never getting strength boosts. Because mages just don't have a high strength boost. So now we almost need to use, uh, to really give them an edge, we almost need to stack them with these two, just to give them a shot. Um, and just to maybe prove my point, can you look up Lind or Merrick in every one and look up their strength growth? Actually, I could pull, I could probably pull that up if I'm looking up at one. I could pull that one up. Wait, and at oh, and at starting again. 
right. We did get the refresh. Well, I'll pull it up here in a minute. Uh, when the ad plays, I'll just wait around. Uh, for right now, let's go ahead and let Ogma grab this. Let's just use the iron sword. I think that'll be fine. 15. Dragon transformation can go a bit longer depending on the luck. Really? Okay. So that's why Tiki was actually staying in dragon form for such a long time. Because in that final chapter, Tiki was just in that dragon form for like 10 turns. 5 plus random number. 0 to 1 times luck divided by 2. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's see. I think we'll go ahead and let... Do we want Drog to weaken? He has the defense. We'll let him have it. Door. Katria can move up. Bellow can move up. You were right when you said five, though. It's just that was the bare minimum. Well, let's take a second. Okay. Ads playing at the moment. Because the stream crashed. Okay, I think the ad is done. So I'm at I'm looking at FE1, okay? And I and I know why Merrick sucks. Okay? I'm looking at FE1 specifically. So if strength is still affecting magic, right? Merrick starts with one strength, okay? He has one point in strength. He has a 0% chance to boost strength. And he also has a 0% chance to boost resistance. No wonder Merrick wasn't really pulling his weight. I mean, granted, Excalibur's useful, but that only goes so far. Okay. To be fair, using stuff like Blizzard and Excalibur when you're fighting against the right enemies, we only get speed, defense, and HP. Whatever. No strength. It's worth a shot, but at least she got some defense. Just in case she ever gets attacked. Right now, I'm gonna hand them both to Warren. Just at the moment. Okay. We're gonna leave 
leave it be for now. <coughs> so that's Merrick. He has no chance to boost strength. That's why he was underperforming when he was using Thunder. Let me look up Lind. Okay. Lind also looks like she starts at a strength of one. And has a 0% chance to grow in strength and res. Lind, Lind was also kind of underperforming as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. That's Bla That's NES. That is NES. That is my bad. Okay. Book one. Growth rates. Okay, here's a... It's not much better. For Merrick, for book one, he has a strength growth of 20%. And a res growth of 3 Again, we can kind of see why his uh, magic potential was lacking. Lind? Yeah, again, 20 strength growth. No wonder I was, uh... No matter... No, no matter... No wonder my mages were falling behind. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have Warren. I think I'm gonna have Warren grab that. Then I'm gonna send Martha in. And Martha's gonna have a lot to work on. So. Trade over Gemini and Taurus. Warren's not gonna get the level up this round. Yeah, and Lin, 20 strength growth in Mystery of the Emblem. And I am look. I'm gonna check one other. Uh, I want to look at Lena. Because she was doing a lot of damage. So, Lena... She starts with one strength and she has 20% growth. So was I just very lucky with Lena, where she just got a lot of strength growth? I think that's just what happened. Because Lena was just able to heal, like constantly. Like a heal staff wasn't able to do the same amount as a uh, as a mend. what I could do. Let's let you attack and weaken. Not that Marth needs it. Him. Okay, that's good. Cecile, you go up here. Might as well top off Drog. But yeah, I think you can understand why the mages were underperforming. The fact that they have a 20% chance to boost strength, and that's how they determine magic damage. Yeah, the mages underperform. Other than very specific situations. You know, 
know what? I think I will also do what I did last time. Skip to seal the lady sword, and I'll have her lure one of the knights out. Should be it. Yeah, that's about it. And the fact that in NES, the mages had a 0% chance to boost strength. Just zero? That's ridiculous. Yeah, normally I like my mages. Uh, I have a feeling that... Mages aren't that great in these games. Actually, now that I have Lind here. Shadow Dragon. Let me see if they change things up. Ah, here it is. They fixed it. Yeah, in in the remake of Shadow Dragon, there is actually a magic stat. Because I remember my mages being okay there. And Lind has a 50% magic growth in that game, as well as a 15% res growth, but like no defense. That's fine. Yeah, mages look like they were more balanced. Looking at Merrick again. Shadow Dragon. Yeah, Merrick has a 40% magic growth. Yeah. Okay, Marth. Um, that's the way to go. I think... Can let Ryan with the attack of 18 and 6, that's not enough. I'm gonna let Mark go ahead and use the rapier. Right I think Marth will be fine. Strength, skill, luck. Trade weapons. It will be best for Ogma. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can get rid of uh, these two up here. I guess set someone right here. That's good to know. For now, though, I think it will be best for Ogma to get over to the other side. So if the mages only have like a 20% chance to grow a, a strength, even giving them the Taurus and the Gemini, will only give them a plug give them a total of like 55 chance so it's still a 50 50. 
Oh, right, I have Libra now. I forgot. I need to give that to someone. If I really want speed, luck, weapon level. Okay. Not worried about that. Mark needs to back out and heal. Ryan probably should as well. And I think we'll give this KO to draw. But because I want to give Drog, I think I think I'm gonna give Drog the both of these. Let's hear that oh, Warren. I'm give Warren this one. Yeah, you know what? Okay. You have a defense of seven with an attack of eight. Yeah, okay, good. I think Warren might be able to level up out of this. So I'm gonna trade over. Do that. Might as well take that back. And you know what? Let's just make things a little simpler. You back out. I want Warren to grab this KO. Top Ryan off, that's for sure. Marth might need the men staff. Okay. You need to move one square forward. Monkey go here. We'll just keep Libra on him for now. Speed? Honestly, the only person that I would think would want that. Actually, I think my archers would want it. And you know what? Any it to my archers would be a good idea right now. I think they really need speed. And if Tony's the cap, man, Catra is already almost there. Honestly, my mages could probably use it too. Am I cheesing the game by uh, doing this whole uh, swapping around these constellations? to try to get optimal stat boosts. Okay. And last time she got a crit. Okay, good. Someone's attacking more. Of course you didn't dodge. Level 8, Strength, Weapon Level, and Defense. Oh, and HP. Don't suffer from success, Warren. Okay, good. He's not suffering from success.
So is there a stat that affects weapon weight? Because the, I don't... There's no con here. Do you just need to offset... Offset con with speed? Or weapon weight, I should say? I don't know if you're still listening, Juice. Because weapon weight's a thing, but I don't know what affects it. Warren has some strength. I give, give this kill to Ryan, although he's not going to level up, but I might as well give him the stuff for it. Does Libra contradict anything? Uh, minus 10 on HP. That kind of counters the Taurus. Minus 10 on res. Well, no one gives gets res anyway. No one gets res anyway. Weapon weight only affects speed. So if a weapon's too heavy, you gotta make sure to offset it with speed. Well, let's hope this plus 40 speed growth, well actually plus 45 speed growth, will help the archers. Okay. Because right now their problem is their weapons are too heavy. And they need more strength. Both apply. Okay. We're fine. We need to start using the men's staff. Yeah, she's not ready to level up just yet. Drog can just wait here. You get back out. Bella? Yes. Perfect. Alright, Agma. I could set someone right here, like Wind. I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna give someone EXP, I think I wanna make sure they have the right stat boosters, potentially. So if we wanted someone to attack twice, we really need to make sure they have enough speed. That's why I'm hoping uh, Ryan can get a strength boost out of that. Or a speed boost as well. Uh, whatever. There no other reinforcement showed up? Okay. I don't think that's the last of them, but do that. Ryan, if you were to attack We're still talking like six, not enough. Alright.
honestly, I don't think Ryan's going to get attacked. So let's go ahead and give Mark these two. Actually, let's give them all of it. We'll attack with the rapier. So, uh, this guy is going to attack Mark. This guy could attack Ryan, but I don't think he is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over... Who did you want? Draw? I think we'll heal Drog. He should be fine. You get down here, you're gonna need healing. Just heal as well. Where are you at? A couple more heals will get you a level. So the archer's gonna attack Marth. The question is is the javelin gonna attack Marth or is it gonna attack Ryan? Ryan, not Marth. Okay. Alright. The archer will move second. If you notice, this was first, then this guy, then the archer moved. Because I think this guy moved later. So, if that's the case... I could... Oh. I could give Ryan the KO. Give him the chance to get all the spoofs. Let Marth stay where he is attacked by this archer, which he only took 7 damage, then this guy would... Yeah, you know what? That might work out fine. Or I guess set, send Drog in. Yeah, Drog would survive... Oh. Take less damage. That's the only difference. Uh, all right. We'll do this. Perfect. Level 9, Strength, Skill, Speed, Luck. That's nice. He needed the speed, he needed the strength. It's a good level. I'm gonna have Marth back out. I'm gonna set Drog in. And honestly, I can set him here. Hell, I can even weaken. Because I don't think this guy's gonna move back. Okay. So. You just left the guy. Uh, Ryan and Warren are pretty far away. Um. Aquarius. I'm gonna 
does Aquarius do? 10 strength, 10 skill, 10 speed, 10 weapon level. Well then, I think you have an idea of what I'm going to try. Trade Aquarius over. So you can use a heal. You can also use a heal. So many units in healing. Okay. We're gonna trade. Uh, this is the tricky part. Okay. If I wanna maximize strength for better healing, want the Gemini. Aquarius is a plus 10. Libra speed. So we'll go with Taurus. Let's heal up. Okay. She's not there yet either. I am trying to maximize my stuff. Oh, more reinforcements. Ryan a kill right now. It will not. The kill will not give him a little. Oh, it's the only good hot corn dog. Uh, this is my third attempt at chapter 8. I am... I was told that these uh, constellation shards... The, they work like the scrolls in Thracia, where they boost your growth rates. So, I'm trying to maximize that. <laughs> Drog's not gonna level up for a little bit. And he'll be fine if he gets attacked again. You're not getting another point in... You're not gonna get a level just yet. True is... Three is at the beginning, being stuck in the middle. More or less, yeah. Well, being stuck is a, uh, is a strong word. In truth, when I got here yesterday, I would say this is probably my fifth attempt in total. Being stuck is not the right word, I would say. There, there's just a bunch of reinforcements down here that I had to work around. I think we could go ahead and give... KO. And he could keep the constellation currently. Perfect. He's not gonna get a level. Draw can wait here. Okay. He's being Dark Souls 2 again. We move on to Dark Souls 3 once you get back. Very nice. And you did all of the DLC and stuff, right? So if 
Have I used... 14 experience. That is not enough. <clears throat> I could fully heal someone. Hold on. Warren? You go here. I am going to trade the mend staff over here. Then we are going to heal Warren to full, which means we have a better chance to get a strength boot. We'll get our level. We'll get our level out of this. Level 9, strength boost. And we got skill, luck, weapon level. Okay. Now she's a better healer. That was extreme. The snow spent like two hours there fighting off an electric ice horses and getting lost. Okay. Marth, you also need. Like Marth could be topped off. But now she doesn't need them. She doesn't need them just yet anymore. Let's go ahead and grab all of these off of her for now. Marth has a good chance to boost strength. <coughs> but yeah, uh, Hot Corn Dog. I looked at a lot of... Uh, Looking at a lot of stats here. Three hours searching for the fourth knight in the last DLC. It turns out there isn't one. He was already free. He was already free to begin with. Hmm, weird. So they said there were four knights, but one of them was just already taken care of due to plot reasons. Is that what I'm understanding? Ooh, good. Dodged. So, yeah, I was looking at, like, a bunch of stats, and, you know, I was asking Juice to do some research for me. Um, so, you know how, you remember how in, I don't know if you caught, during Brook 1, my mages were kind of, Lind and Merrick were kind of just underperforming in terms of damage. I'm gonna have to drop back down. I don't know if you remember if I, if... I don't know if you remember that, or my thoughts about that. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Well, it turns out, the reason why they were underperforming is that magic is tied, or magic damage is tied to the strength stat as well. But, mages are known to not get strength boosts. And I looked it up in this game, at least in book one. It might be the same growth rates for all I know. But in book one, Lind and Merrick have a strength boost growth rate of 20%. They have a 20% chance to boost their uh, strength which affects their magic damage. And it turns out Lena also has a 20% chance to boost strength. But I just got very lucky. I was getting very lucky with those strength boosts. So now that we have these constellations, to boost our growth rates. I'm trying to take advantage of them as much as possible. Well, uh, it's... I also wasn't sure if you were... You even... Because you've been here off and on, so I wasn't sure if you caught some of it in the first place. That's more of what I was referring to. But... Yeah, my mages were just not doing much. I mean, Merrick could get some 
flying KOs with Excalibur, but that's due to weapon weakness, not necessarily his stats. Exactly, so... I figured that was more of a reason. But yeah, in this game... When it comes to the mages, they have a 20% chance to grow their strength. And that affects their magic. It's very low. That's why they're... That's why the mages were underperforming. So now... Uh, and also, I looked at uh, Shadow Dragon, the, the remake on DS. There is an actual magic stat. And, at, and they have like a 50 or 40% chance to grow their magic, so that's not an issue. There's no magic stat. Look. Strength, skill, speed, luck. Weapon level, defense, and res. There, there's no strength stat. Or, there's no magic stat. But I noticed magic can be boosted. Because when Yobello here got a strength boost, I noticed his attack went up. For the fireball. So I knew it could be boosted. And if you... Re I don't know if you remember, but Lena, at the end of the game, she was doing a lot of damage with magic. But that's because she got very lucky with a lot of strength boosts. Drog could use a heal, but I also want to give him some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade everything over. I am going to heal. No, not really. Here, uh, I have Merrick pulled up. And in book one, I'm looking at book one, by the way. I don't really want to spoil myself, or any chance of spoiling myself for book two. Oh, I could give you the KO. You won't... Oh, you could level up. You could level up. No, he should back out. You should back up. Let's go ahead and give... Okay, let's get Ogma out of the way. <coughs> Warren's not going to level up. So what I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and trade over... The Libra over. I'm giving Drog a good chance to get a bunch of good stats. Were Mage's OP in the last two games? The first game since you have played OG Gaidi. I have, okay. I have the stats for original NES Blade of Light. Uh, let me, let me tell you. So, there is no magic stat, so I'm assuming it is still the same, where it's based on, uh, where it's based on strength, right? I'm assuming that's going to be the case. And so Merrick, when you recruit him, he has one point in strength, and he has a 0% chance to boost strength. Yeah, and Lin's the same way. Oh, Drog, that's not a good thing. Getting hit by a crit is not a good thing. Since he countered, he gets the level. He gets strength, skill, speed, and luck. And weapon level.
This game has no con for weapon rank, weapon rank, so you gotta offset it with your higher speed. That's what I was trying to do with Drog here. Okay, he needs to back out. Marth could use some healing. He could get nearly topped off if I use a heal. And there's no way you're going to manage that. Alright, Drog, back out. You don't necessarily need the speed, so I don't think you need Libra. We might as well trade Libra over to probably Ryan for now, just so someone else is holding it. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Marth. That'll probably be good. Also, Merrick has a 0% chance to boost Rez in the original NES game. Same thing with Lind. Mage is good for anything. Uh, Merrick had Excalibur, which is effective against flying units. Might as well grab some of XP. Uh, Lind had Aura, which is actually just a strong spell as is. Um, you have to use Starlight to be able to attack Garnef. Yeah. But hey, their weapon level and HP have an 80% chance to grow. They were kind of niche. They were. But now that we have these shards, we have a better chance to get what we need. It's a strength boost and speed and weapon level. Resistance. Oh, wow. That rarely happens. Marth can't promote, so he only has nine more levels. Is that it? That looks like that's all the reinforcements. This bow user is the last one here. Marth, you need to back out and heal, that's for sure. Um, so he has nine more levels. We could max out his strength, potentially. We're gonna do New Game Plus in Dark Souls 2, since they actually did add things. Oh, okay. Even Elden Ring doesn't add anything like New Game Plus. Like, what's an example of them adding things? We can maybe max out Marth's uh, strength if we're lucky enough. Let's see. The archer's the only one left. Warren's not going to grab the kill, but... Ooh. Hold on. Trade over. Let's hand him everything for some strength and speed. Let's top them off. And by the way, she can heal more if she has more strength. So, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to min-max this. I don't know if this is how you should be playing the game. This is how I'm doing it. What is your attack? 15. 9, 18. Okay. Let's 
Uh, you know what? Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Alright. Looks like we're finally done with the reinforcements. That, that's nice. Yeah, Ryan's gonna get the... He's gonna get the level. Or at least he should. With 78 EXP, yeah, he should get the level. Level 10, strength, skill, speed, weapon level. See, that's exactly what he needs. He's only, you know, he's only level 10, nine more levels to cap out his strength. All right, looking good. I'm almost out of heals. Gonna have to rely on men soon. Let's go ahead and focus on the other units that can actually fight. They add red phantoms to make areas that are now easy harder. One of the bosses attacks you in an area it never appeared in order to keep you away. Hmm, Agma, you seem to be lacking strength. I wonder if we could do something about that. And might as well give you a chance to boost speed as well. <laughs> Not that you need it. Actually, I could give this one to someone else. Uh, maybe level 7, you're all Maybe we can hand it to Cecile. She can use extra stats. She won't level up, though, so that's not really going to help me. Let's just wait. Let's just wait it out. I know this is very slow, but I'm taking advantage of this. You know what? Let's hand everything over here. Let's top her off. My... She only needs strength. That's all I really care about. Anything else is a bonus. Some boss fights now add enemies. A lot of non-essential items you can find in chests and around the game have now changed to make it so they are useful to you. Okay. Four main bosses of the game drop an additional soul, which gives you a weapon or spell. Just an extra one? Nothing that special, right? Ooh. She's gonna level up here in a second when I use Mend. Oh, and I will want to take advantage of this here in a second. I feel like I'm playing this game in a way that I'm not supposed to. <laughs> <coughs> the fact that the game doesn't tell you what these boosts, I feel like it's something I'm not supposed to do. 
It's new weapons and spells that are are not in the base game. Okay. I had a feeling that's what you meant. Good. Cecile, I'm trying to help you here. But you're not getting the KO. Go. Level 10. Skill, weapon level, and HP. It was like a 50% chance to boost it. Had to try it. At this point, I might need to weaken with one of my archers or something. Granted, she's better with one of the lances. So a lot of what they wanted to add was probably not ah. That's kind of a weird uh, time to like really experiment with your game, you know? Oh yeah, we only got a year to make this game. Let's really experiment. give her another kill some some other time. This is take I don't want to use up the lady sword like this. Zelda Majora's Mask had like a year of development time, and they changed things a lot. But granted, they used a, a lot of asset clips, but we're also talking... That's also a game from the... Oh, the game gave me a heal stack. Very nice. But yeah, uh, that game, though, was also on the N64. I don't know if it was like... If there's that much of a difference with asset clips between, you know, 64 versus, you know, uh, PS3. We'll just give Agma this KO because he can just give it. It's fine. Don't bother you. Uh, not enough. We need the seal. Get him out of here. Get the heal out of here. Now we got these guys who can move. There isn't a safe spot. Ogma's just gonna have to fight two of them. Yeah. Ogma's just gonna have to fight two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, there is a spot where he can only fight one. Yeah, okay, right here. That works. He's close to a level, so yeah. Keep him with everything. Cecile, you back up. Who could use some extra healing? Drog? Drog. We're just going to use the heal. Perfect. 
Alright. Leave it there. So now, I want Ava down here. Get armor Slayer. Again, I'll probably use uh, Samto. Oh wow, his strength is bad. But if we really feed him stuff, we can make that work out. I don't think anyone else needs healing. Weapon level, defense, and HP. Agma, you're doing great. He better start dodging, but he has the HP to tank it. He's fine. He's fine. And Marth's doing good, too. Marth is actually stronger than Agma. That's a first, isn't it? <laughs> uh... I think we'll go ahead and let Agma take out the other, uh, take out these two. Marth being good? Yeah, he's being good. Even before, uh, I got these shards, he was, I think I was getting lucky with some of his level ups. And before I realized what these did, he was holding on to the Taurus one for a while. So he was getting at least a plus five in everything. Yeah, head out? All right. Have a good rest of your day, Hot Corn Dog. Hopefully I'll see you next week. We may check out the next chapter, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna beat it. This one as well. I'll probably spend some time healing afterwards. Try to get some extra EXP. Yeah. I just realized this circle is not listed on there, on the screen. That's weird. Probably when the stream crashed. Oh well. Again, any subs are right now going towards uh, uh, channel point badges right now. Like, that's the main goal. And you have the javelin. And cancer. Uh, okay. If Ogma were to go up and attack with the Armor Slayer, attack of 29, we deal 10 damage. He has an attack of 22. Lind? Lind can attack and survive a hit and deal a lot of damage with Aura. Yeah, three res, so we deal like 19 damage. Ogma doing two hits with Armor Slayer does more. But honestly, I think having Lind ready to go with the aura is probably a good idea to weaken. Yeah, you're fine. 
Let's top off Ozma's HP. We're almost done with this chapter. I'll probably be working here outside so you don't have to talk to customers. Well, that's something. So here's what I'm thinking. I can let Lynn, with her attack of 22, and his attack of 22, I have, he can't double me. Uh, I have three defense, so Lind can survive a single hit. A single hit of Aura does a lot of damage. So we are going to wait. Bello were to go to attack. We're talking about an attack of four. Your Bella, I don't think, is going to actually help. We'll probably end up finishing him off with Ogma. Actually, Martha would work too. So, yeah. For now, let's go ahead and have you top off Rhodey. Again, I did not think this game would add something like this. The constellation stuff. Please, please wait. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I was just following the Emperor's orders. I also hate what I have done, but I have no choice. So, so please help me. Please, just let me explain. Yes, that's right. Like that. You let your guard down. Idiot. Die! Can we re We can't trust Lang. Lind. There we go. That's a lot- That's a lot of damage. Okay. So... You currently have all the stuff. Ogma can uh, level up. So if we go in with the Armor Slayer for attack of 29, 10, 20, not enough. What if we have Marth weaken with the Rapier for attack of 28? 11, 22, yeah. And his attack of 22. Yeah, we'll be fine. Marth, go ahead and weaken. Oh, nine damage. Oh, I did my math wrong, didn't I? Oh well. Either way, Ogma can go ahead and grab the KO. It's like a 29. We're good, we're good. I did my math wrong. Go, Ogma. I could have given it to Marth, but Ogma was about to level up. Level 16, strength, skill, luck, weapon level, defense, HP. And we got cancer. Ugh, how could I be defeated? I guess Cass cancer is going in storage. What does cancer do? Minus 10% chance to boost strength, but it is a 50% growth rate for defense. So if you're really trying to get that defense boost, go right ahead and give, give yourself cancer. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time getting some heals in. Melissa may get a level up. You know what? Uh, I've been meaning to give him back the... this. Which 
dog can actually use extra defense. Honestly, the cancer one will probably end up being useful after a little while. Because defense doesn't really seem to be boosted that often. So once strength is up enough, we could probably just try to boost defense. First of all, let's go ahead and trade over Gemini. Uh, trying to remember, huh? Aquarius and Taurus. Let's go ahead and heal. She may level up after this. I'm gonna have Mark go ahead and grab Cancer out of storage. Might as well grab the heal sack too. Alright. Santo needs healing, and Lind will need healing. Just a couple more heals will do the trick. Sam Toe, and then we should be good to go. No, so close. Alright. Come on, Sam Toe, let's get you healed. We'll probably actually try to use him. Level 11, and we get a strength boost, we get skill, weapon level, and HP. Yes. You need more strength. Look at that, five strength. That's five more healing. All right. Now let's seize the castle. Your Highness, we found Bishop Wendell held captive in the castle. Ah, Bishop Wendell. It's great to see you're safe. When I heard you were taken from the village in Medon, I was really worried. Lang wanted me to help him deal with the Crustian Rebellion, so he took me here. But as the Pontifex of Caden, and with your power, you shouldn't need to fear Lang. I don't like using magic in battle. And also, I already left the magic city, Caden, in the care of two youths, Merrick and Elrin. I left because I must carry out an important mission give, given to me by the Arcsage Goto. A mission from Goto? So are you traveling the continent? That's right. You should know that there was once a sacred jewel with markings of the twelve constellations known as the Star Sphere. In order to dispel Garnuf's dark magic, Goto created the holy starlight magic from the sphere. However, at that time, it created a powerful shock and the sphere broke into 12 fragments, oh, which flew and scattered across the continent. Goto said that this world is protected by the mysterious power of the five spheres. If any of them was lost, the world would be fall, will fall into ruin. And right now the star sphere has been broken. Therefore, even now the world is decayed. The 12 fragments must be brought back together so that the Star Sphere can be restored. Unfortunately, I was captured and the fragments that I have li liberously collected were taken by the Imperial, Imperial soldiers. 
Prince Marth, I realize that I cannot complete my mission just by myself. Can you aid me in my quest? Uh, how could this be? Suddenly hearing that the world is falling to ruin. I'm finding it difficult to, to believe. But are the star fragments these? I already have a couple. Once, I reclaim, once I've reclaimed Altia, I'll help you look for the remaining fragments and star and spheres. If possible, can you wait until then? Oh, that's right. Your Highness. Your Highness's country was attacked by Archimega. I'm deeply sorry. My, my request was a little selfish. Your Highness, I understand. I'll also fight to reclaim, reclaim Altia. Huh? Bishop, can you really help us fight? What about Goto's mission? I bet meeting your highness was also planned by Goto. If that's the case, I must follow my fate. But can we first go to the fane of go to the fane of Ramon? At that ancient temple. Perhaps we can recover some of the lost spheres and dark star fragments. I understand. The fane of Ramon was along our road to reclaim Altia. We'll head there immediately. We might as well take a look at what the next chapter looks like. Okay. So it seems like these constellation spheres are temporarily. Once we get them all, they'll form into one. That's what it seems like. <clears throat> After liberating Drost, Marth accepted Wendell's request to find the lost spheres and headed to the fame of Marth. However, the ancient temple, built to worship Nod, was wrecked by constant worry, worry, and has now become a thieves' hideout. They're escaping with the temple's valuable treasures. We mustn't let them take them away. We must recover them. We mustn't attract the attention of the soldiers guarding Ka uh, Casimir Bridge. The Casimir? Whatever. We don't stand a chance of winning. So don't approach at all costs. Also, it seems there is a traveling child dancer who's lost her way in the forest. We must rescue her before she gets ambushed by the thieves. After the troops receive their orders, they are surrounded. They surround the fane of the world. The flame of the of a new battle was about to ignite. Okay. There's a lot of thieves here. Weapon shop, okay. Let's see. Heroes, okay. Silver swords. I think we said we don't want to attract their attention. There's a Astram. Okay. Why does he have the Mercuria sword? Why does he have it? Astram was recruited by... Oh, I, it was like the Paladin girl. I forget her name. There's a tunnel there. Okay, what about the thieves? Steel swords. This one has Scorpio. So we need to make sure to get rid of that guy. You have a hero's crest. Orion's bolt. Dragon's whip. Angel's robe. And you have a Levin sword. Okay. So we gotta be careful about Astram. I don't know how we recruit him. There's a couple villages here. But not villages. Actually, there's no villages here, so the thieves are not going to destroy anything. Okay. So, I want to try to actually use uh, Samto as my second uh, mercenary. So, let's bench... Let's bench Paula. Bring Santo. I could let Julian stay behind. Or Drog. Actually, I don't I don't think I need to bring Drog. 
Nah, well, maybe I could get him to hold his hand. For now, I think this will be okay. Santos gonna need new weapons. Castor is just kind of here. Maybe we could try to train up, like, Katria or something. So let's see. Currently, she has basically all the strength boosting ones. Who would need strength? Actually, we might send Katria up front. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Have her deal with a bunch of thieves. Deposit. Oh, please. Then we're gonna go and trade. We're gonna trade everything to Katria. Try to give her a bunch of strength boosts. Uh, where's the heal stat? There's one. Does Ogmine have the other one? Yes. Okay, Libra's for speed. Also, we're not gonna need Hanlon for a while. I can throw that in storage for now. Okay. Who needs speed? Not you. Well, there's actually a few people that can use speed. Just not Ogma. Katria only needs one more level for speed, so that's not a big deal. Guard, she was here, cast her Let's trade Liba over to... Let's just hand him to one for now. Marth has cancer, and that's the defense one. Honestly, we could keep that on Marth for now. Wait. No, he only needs a few more levels. He only has a few more levels. If anything, I think I want to give him more strength stuff. Uh, defense. Who would want defense? Almost anyone. Almost anyone would. Uh, tend to Rhodey, I guess. Strength. No, you need, you need that strength. What about Aqua? Sorry, doing a lot of rearranging. Alright. Let's try this. And let's give the chapter a shot. <sighs> Please, help! Those thieves are going to... Why? Why? Why aren't you saying anything? Oh, could it be you are one of them? I understand. You can do as you please. If you must kill, then kill me. Miss, follow me. The Ultian army is approaching from the south of the forest. I will take you to them. Huh? Why are you helping me? Aren't you a thief as well? I was until now. But I've changed my mind. Why? Within the Ultian army, there is someone I want to see. That is all. Huh? But in reality, it's because I'm cute, right? But that's all right. My name's Fina. I'm a dancer from Warren. There's a place called Ro Warren? And we have a character named Warren. Interesting. To see me dance will raise people's spirits. I'll show you as well. Oh, that's right. I was following, following a performing company, but I got lost my way in the forest. And then I was ambushed by thieves. But this is great. Even though you look frightful, you're really a gentle guy. However, your appearance is... Your face isn't too bad, but your fashion sense is so... is so-and-so. Although, there's that hair. Does anyone have hair like that these days? Enough! Have you finished yet? Anyway, don't... just don't leave my side. We'll head through the passageway towards the west and make our escape. If you don't want to die, then be quiet. Ah, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. So we got Navarre. 
Never mind about Santo. We're using the bar. Good thing I didn't emphasize Santo at all. Shida. It's gonna take a little bit for Cashew to catch up. Okay. So if we want Navarre to play it safe. We yeah, we should probably head to the west, like we said. Let's go ahead and start getting rid of the thief or two. Luckily, we don't need to talk to him for anything, because I already have Navarre. Got some gold. Might as well let her dance. Yeah, be careful. Attack is first, then wait, then dance. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the first game to add a dancer. I don't think uh, Gaiden added one, so that's nice. But at least the dancer can actually defend herself. So there's actually a reason to give her some strength boosting stuff, just in case she ever gets in the fight. She has one point in strength, although I should assume that she probably has a cap of 20. She can't promote. Be difficult to use her. Alright, Sheeta, let's go up here. Astrum's mercenaries are guarding the forest, or the fortress. They're so strong that even crybabies are scared silent by them. One less problem is better than one more problem. That's my best advice for you. Hmm. Don't know what that means. Just a avoid Astrum? Is that what that's supposed to mean? The Holy Thane of Ramon to the Thieves is just an ancient building. Those thieving rogues living in there, it's just terrible. Okay, some wool. Some lore, basically. Brody, you go over here. Have you seen that child dan child's dance? Is it? Wait. Is is really good. Is is really good. Seeing it instantly rejuvenates my, enti my tired body. Good for you. Uh... I guess we'll have Samto go over here and buy things, but uh, we have Navarre now. We're not using Samto. Uh, actually, Julian can do it. He's not doing anything. Nothing else? Start moving up. So we already have a dragon's whip. Catria could promote, but I want to try to give her more levels and better sectors. Oh, the next time we get to an arena, we'll be abused like hell. <laughs> It'd be totally abused. Oh, the thieves are trying to escape up there. Okay. Or at least some of them are, anyway. Uh, you can't double. That sucks. Again, there's one with a Knight's Crest and there's one with uh, Scorpio. So we need those. Okay. If you're going after Sheeta, that's fine. Okay. 
nothing, okay? So we were trying to... well, you're heading south to Navarre. Where Navarre is that? Huh. And of course, uh, Astrum's not moving. That's a good sign right now. The one that's up here has the Angel's Road. What one has... That one has Scorpio. At the moment, Katria needs to probably go after this one. Probably just the steel will be okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try to give Catria some KOs. We got an ad. Got a little bit of gold out of that. Not much. Okay, Samto, what are we looking at? I don't have much gold on me. Iron, steel... Not really much. However, Navarre can use a, a new iron and steel. And I think we'll leave it at that. Not much here. Julian, what does this sh uh, house say? Whatever you do, don't get close to that tunnel. I hear there's a scary fire dragon lives in there. Ah, is that Bond too? Okay. How much do I want this angel's robe? You can't make it. Alright. Ad's done. This village... Oh, okay. I had Samto go to the shop. He bought an iron seal sword. Basically, everything's going to the middle. Julian went to the house that's right next to him, and he said... And the house said that at this cave, there's a fire dragon. So be careful. That probably means Bontu's here. Let's see. So this thief up here that has the angel's robe. I only have so much to actually get to him. If I want to get to him... I don't... Fina cannot survive, so I'm going to have Navar grab a KO over here. Good. Level 9, skill and luck. Mark go to the cave. And we'll see how that goes. I'll send Lynn there too. Okay, over here. We've got 
two thieves. Uh... Wait, Agma? Nah, you're fine. Warren. Warren can grab a carol. I think I will do that. It's kind of hard to give mages KOs when I can. He's not gonna level up. And that's fine. That'll help. And Rody can go ahead and start heading up here. Where's the... Scorpio's here. Here's Gus is there. Orion's Bolt. I forgot about Orion's Bolt. Alright. Just have everyone try to rush in, I guess. goes. The fire dragon has arrived. Okay, never mind. It's not Bontu. It's an actual dur Durgan. Okay. Hmm. I have to get cro close to Anstrom's units. Dragon's on the move, and Marth was in range. Great. Okay, I don't really have good ways to deal with dragons. Marth, can you do anything? Okay, with the Steel Sword, with an attack of 21, his defense of 12. So we're talking about 11 damage. I double... about Aura. So yeah, 22 damage in total, and then another 22, no, not another 22 from Aura. Okay, 17 from Aura. It's 39. Not enough. I'm having Marth back out. What's the dragon's ring? Of course, Marth is in range. Can't get away. Alright. So, first, Sheeta, get rid of the thief that's attacking Fina. Defense and HP. Cheetah could really use some extra strength, but that's not possible right now. Okay. Okay, I want these ones up here. Katria cannot get in range of the ones I want to get rid of, but for now, let's just get rid of this one. Okay. 
Okay. Fina. Let's dance. Get Sheeta back up. And we can get rid of one of the other thieves. Okay. Get rid of this one. Still haven't gotten S yet. She still hasn't shown up. Okay. 500 gold, that's fine. Uh, Navar? You're gonna be in range of someone. Just, you're gonna be in range of two people. Okay, Navar. This is for the the uh, robe. Let's see if it's worth it. <laughs> Probably not. The angel's robe. Yep. Probably wasn't worth it. Oh man. If I brought my other healer. Uh, Yumina. I could have used the return staff. Oh, if this fails, I'm benching Drog for that. But first, we got a dragon to take care of. Try to send my calves up. Right. See if this goes well. Reinforcements have arrived. Forts, of course. I'm not surprised. The dragon's moving first. Going after Marth. Of course he got hit. Of course he did. Okay, the knights are on the move. The mage is on the move to Navar. That's... I can live with that. But not the heroes. That's good. That's good. The hero's not moving. Navar, you need to back out. Alright, Navar. Oh, I didn't realize I could. Okay, I got the crit. That, that works out. I could have died there. Defense HP, and we got the Orion's Bolt. Oh, uh, Navar is not safe. Okay, well, Sheeta's gonna have to go here and help Navar. Katria, you're gonna have to go here. Get rid of the thief. Speed, luck, weapon level, HP. And we got the Scorpio. Don't know what it does. Actually, what does Scorpio do? Let me look. Since we have it now. Scorpio, 20% chance to boost strength, 20% chance to boost skill, 10% boost to speed, minus 10% chance for luck. Honestly, that's a pretty good one. It's kind of average overall. But it boosts well with, honestly, trying to boost strength. Look at that. Honestly, this is a good pair-up if you're really trying to get strength. 
guess who cares about luck? Especially when your luck is nearly capped. So the last one is the Hero's Crest. Thanks for can't get in range. It's a and so we'll do this. Cecil can move. Okay, time to take out a dragon. Lind, use your aura. Okay. One HP, Lind. You tank with one HP. Okay. Let's see, an attack of 19, defense of 12, we're just gonna have to weaken him. Warren, you have the HP just Archers, fire! This dragon's tough. It's gonna take a lot of us to take him down. Ryan! Your turn. I could probably heal Moth, and then he could probably get the KO. Ooh, Ryan dodged. Okay. Uh, if Marth were to attack with the Steel Sword, attack of 21, minus 12, 11 damage. That's right. He needs healing. Yeah, a heal will be fine. I was double checking. Double checking. Okay, that'll be enough. sword. Get rid of this dragon. Perfect. What did we get? Strength, speed, luck, HP. And we got a firestone. We don't have a dragon for that, but we have a firestone. All right, let's hope another dragon doesn't pop up. Okay. Ogma needs to start heading north. Because we got a bunch of knights on the way. And Julian's just kind of here. Actually, I'm going to check something. Shield lucked out. Now, what to do with all the heroes? Maybe I just need to wait for the, the enemies to stop spawning. Ogma, you get to move on. None of them are close enough, that's fine. Cheetah. Oh, come on. Cecile? Grab the KO. Wait. The 
Slim Lance. Yeah, it has to be Slim Lance. Or, you know, we get a crit. That works, too. All right. Skill, luck, weapon level, and we got the Hero's Crest. We did manage to get all the, get all the items. Navar, you back out. You know what? We're gonna dance Navar and make sure he escapes. Minus six, five? Yeah, okay. She can attack. What about with the silver? Attack of 20. Minus three? Nope. It's still a two hit KO. Yeah, it's still gonna be a two hit KO. We might as well use the steel. If she had one more point in attack, she could then one, one hit KO these mages. Weapon level, HP. So what about having Katria attack the, the boss? Let's say we use the silver. Attack of 23. He has an attack of 10. Katria could just get the kill right now. Let's do it. Stealing what rightfully belongs to us thieves. To think there would be such a be such people in this world. You lot are monsters. The thief is calling us thieves. Huh. Oh, well, oh, got rid of him. He wasn't that hard. Uh, Katria almost got a level. We got the Leaven Sword. Murderer! <laughs> Trying to make you feel guilty about killing, a, killing one of the thieves, huh? Alright. Well, that's not all. We gotta somehow recruit Astra. At least I think we do. How do we recruit him? Can we recruit him? The last time we had a different unit to talk to him, and we don't have that unit anymore. We don't have that unit back yet, so I, like, part of me feels like it needs to be Marth. It's usually my go-to guess. everyone start moving through the forest, we gotta deal with Astrum's unit. Or Marth could just, you know, head to the castle and seize. That works too. More reinforcements have arrived. Wonder how long they are gonna last. Towards Agma. Shift's done, hot corn dog. Well, we got through a good chunk of this chapter. We've already beat the boss that's guarding the seat, the castle. But right now, Marth one Marth's too far away. Dude, we got a bunch of enemies right here. A bunch of knights. Bunch of heroes here. 
One of them's Astrum, and he somehow has my Mercurius sword. I don't know how he got it. Again, I have no clue how he got that weapon. Did Mark like, here, here's the sword. Even though I'm pretty sure he was the only one that was supposed to use it. Also, where's the Falchion? How come Martha isn't holding on to that? Katria, you get level 13 strength, skill, weapon level, resistance, and HP. Good on Katria. Now she has the strength attack. Uh, you need to back out of here. Uh, Sheeta? You have never been invested in a Fire Emblem game story? I mean, I don't necessarily blame you. Eh, do what you need to do, Aquaman Dog. Sheeta will survive another mage when it pops up. Agma, it's time to go on a rampage. You sh should have the strength to one-hit KO. He didn't need the crit. At least I don't think so. I'm having Marth back up in here. Hello, you can go here. Lind? Let's see. Uh, Ryan goes here. Let's make a trade, because Marth is currently holding the other heal staff. Let's use up the heal staff. Close enough. 15? Alright. She really has 5 strength? Yeah, okay. Bar, keep moving down. Samto! Oh, that's not what I meant. Samto, go ahead and trade over the Iron Sword, the Steel Sword, and the Bar, keep his killing. I think we're gonna have Fina hang out to the main group. One, we can heal her, and two, the main group needs the most focus. Julian's just kinda here. And yeah, I think we're kinda benching Caster. I spent too much effort on Warren. So once we get the right units, I'll probably end up with, like, full adventure. You know, because I'm still probably going to use Tiki. I'm still... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Navar will be one of them that stays in. Yep. Agma's got a one-hit KO. Agma, level 17, speed, defense, and HP. That's nice. That's nice. There we go. We're about to run out of armor slayers, though. Or use up most of them. And the rapier, uh, we got the new one from Fina, but that needs to go to Marth. Okay. Magma 
was doing his job. Defense and HP. And we're not getting the best levels at the moment, but hey, like we're getting stats that are useful. Knights are already are still on the move. Yeah, I think she uh she does needs to back out. got the lucky dodge though but it's not gonna be enough we better have her back out let's see i can do uber trade Four uses, and luckily that will be enough. I'm gonna give Navar. We're gonna give Bell over here. did a weird trade. Three houses can play similar to Persona. It has Persona-like elements. The whole, uh... The whole class system... Well, not class, but the whole, uh, school system is kind of similar. It has similar elements. Uh, Persona, what really happens is... When you're not in a dungeon... You know, you have a calendar system, and, like, in the evenings, be like, okay, you can do something. Do you decide to hang out with one of your friends to boost your relationship with them? Do you want to do a side gig and get some extra money? Do you go to the gym and get, like, a stat point? You know, you, you kind of have stuff like that. So, the three houses gets compared to persona with the whole social link stuff it's very it has similar aspects Santa. Right. got path of radiance very nice that's a spendy game actually is it I wonder how much it's still going for right now. Last time I checked, it was like 250. That was a while ago. I might as well look since we're on the conversation now. What do we got for Path of Radiance? What's it going for? A path of Radiance. A complete copy is only 215. Not as much as it used to be, but it's still over 200 bucks. That's for a complete copy. I'm so glad I got mine when it was $50. Back like what 15 years ago. Augment level 19, strength, weapon, and defense. Oh, and some HP. And 
dodge. Get the KO. Armor Slayer has broken. I could repair it, but I think I feel like that's a waste. We can have Marth take over with the rapier. He's only played three houses. He jumped from three houses to Path of Radiance? It's not a bad jump. There are worse jumps you can make. It's still Fire Emblem in a lot of ways. But hey, Fire, um, uh, Fire Emblem is a... Uh, oh, Path of Radiance is one of my favorites, so... Can't go wrong with that. Agma, go ahead and use your... I guess we're going to use your steel. Wait, can you 1-hit KO with the silver? Or 1-hit KO with the steel? Yes, I think you can. Perfect. Yeah, I think I would think if you're in three houses territory and that's your first Fire Emblem, you probably go with something like Awakening or Fates or Shadows of Valentia, somewhere in there. Or Fire Emblem Engage. But I wouldn't recommend it. Not, like, that game doesn't really work as well when it's a, uh, when the only other game you played was Three Houses. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's fine, but not so much with, uh, uh, with the fan service, you know? And we all know the plot of, th of Engage is garbage. Can you grab the KO? Yeah, but probably with the slim. I mean, he could beat the GBA games. Oh yeah, those are good jumping points. He hasn't beaten them. Hmm. I mean, play what you want, I don't care. Yeah, the GBA ones are also a good jumping on point. Just let Katria go and get healed. Shida go here. Rody could kind of stay here, I think. I think I'm just trying to get Marth up here. To Astrum. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm doing with Marth. This is bad. Luckily, Ogma, I think, has the stats to deal with it. Yeah, go Ogma. Well, Ogma's capped. Level 20, strength, weapon level, defense, resistance, and HP. And guess what? We got a Knight's Crest this chapter. Good. Ogma's too good. Oh, I didn't realize Marth was in range. We're gonna have some trouble. Wait, is that Astrum? That is. You foul traitors! Taste the might of the my Mercurius sword! And Marth's dead. Okay. That's death. How could you die, Marth? Rigged. 
Yeah, you know what? That is a little rigged. We'll throw that in there. So... I think... I don't know how we're supposed to get Astrum. Was I just unlucky? In that I was just... Too close to him? I feel like I need to talk to him with someone. Or is this a case kind of like with, uh, George? Where I'm supposed to just ignore him? And just go to the castle? Well, anyway, I don't have enough time for another attempt, that's for sure. Thanks for everyone who showed up. Martha got no res, he doesn't have any res. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scott Six Of course, stream archives, there's a link in the back page. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try this again next time. I, yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to get Astrum. But at least we know Agma is able to take down the heroes on his own because he's that much of a chad. Anyway, have a good day.